Eco Atlantic City and Acon City, two of West Africa's most ambitious real estate projects. These developments are poised to redefine West Africa's skyline and set a new benchmark for African investments. But despite their grand visions and promising potential, both projects have faced significant delays. The question is, why? What's holding back these monumental projects from reaching their full potential? This is the first building in Acon City. This is supposed to be like the administrative building that receives people. Once the entire city is completed, this is where you first come to find directions and all of that. Are they on the brink of failure or are they simply navigating through unexpected challenges? In today's video, we will dive deep into the stories behind these two mega projects to uncover whether they are faltering or just facing temporary setbacks. This is Eco Atlantic City, a city being built on reclaimed land from the Atlantic Ocean, often dubbed the Dubai of Nigeria. At its completion, developers South Energy X Nigeria promised that this new city would be home to 250,000 residents and create over 400,000 jobs. It was envisioned as a regional hub for banking, tourism, and luxury real estate, projected to contribute nearly $1 billion to Nigerians' GDP annually. But more than a decade later, only a handful of buildings have been completed. So what happened? Why is a project with such immense potential for the country and its economy experiencing such slow growth? Why is Eco Atlantic still empty in 2024? The first thing that happened to this building was the tanking of the Naira. They restructured the finances. Would you say that has affected COVID. a lot of pro projects here in Eco Atlantic City? Like I would that? say so, yes. One major factor is the Nigerian economy itself. Over the past five years, more companies have left the country than those entering it. The constant fluctuation of the Naira has made it difficult for investors to commit and the lack of reliable power supply has forced many companies to generate their own electricity. The poor state of infrastructure like roads further increases the cost of doing business, making it less attractive for foreign investments. These challenges have significantly slowed down the progress of Eco Atlantic City. I recently visited Eco Atlantic City to see how far the project has come in there and it's clear that the project is facing substantial hurdles. On the other hand, Akon City, a project envisioned as the Wakanda of Africa, was set to transform Senegal and the African landscape. However, the COVID-19 pandemic caused significant delays, stalling the project's momentum. Moreover, the Senegalese government hasn't made it easy for Akon to push forward with his investments. You already know how complicated real estate is here. So now imagine that in a place that don't have the concept of real estate on that level. Mm. So a lot of things, all the way down to the zoning mechanism, has, has been created specifically for the city because it didn't exist before. Last time you were here, you were saying that Akon City was supposed to open in 2026. Yeah. But then COVID hit and... Right. So where is Akon City at right now? Um, we're actually, we're still on track. Okay. Um, the thing about the COVID, yeah, it kind of stalled a bit because a lot of partners and uh, solution, you know, providers obviously had to lock down, but it didn't affect more so of the paper pusher side of it, you know. So there's a lot of admin that's done, um, a lot of agreements that's still negotiated via Zoom and things like that. So we was able to get a lot of that out the way. So now we're in a stage of feasibility studies, environmental studies. Those are things that you got. You can't do it unless you're actually on the grounds. So that kind of lacked up a little bit, but. Now we're back pretty much on track, still moving. Um, now construction is starting 2023. I recently visited the Acorn City site to see how far the project has come and it's clear that both projects are facing substantial hurdles. I'm currently in Acorn City, right? And I climbed, this is the first building in Acorn City. This is supposed to be like the administrative building that receives people. You know, if once the entire city is completed, this is where you first come to find directions and all of that. And you can see all of these are materials that are here in the Econ City. And over there, over there, right, the gate, the entrance gate, you find the entrance gate to 8 a.m. to Econ City. So, it's just epic, guys. So this is the thing. I wish, um, you know, the project here in Econ City could have proceeded much faster. However, it seems things are kind of slow for whatever reasons Akon might have. I just want to encourage, you know, I think we should support him more, even though 
things are not going as promised. 2026 is supposed to be like the proposed date for when maybe probably the first phase or the entire city should have been completed. But at the moment, this is the only building here in Acon City. Okay. So once Acon City is completed, it will be one of the most beautiful places to be in Africa. And one of the ways you would come here would be through a ferry. Over at the extreme there, there is, I mean, um, the, you can see the sea over there. So, yeah. Oh my guys, the gates, let's say the entrance gates, on that side of the day. Mm. All right, guys, so let's go. Yeah, uh, yes. We'll finish. Here is the gate. The entrance gate. Gate. <laughs> if you never see a city, I don't know yeah. what you want to see again. Guys, this is it, really. This is it. I mean, this is it. This is it, man. Guys, this is my opinion, right? I think Africans are not doing justice to Akon. I won't lie to you. In the sense that Akon, as a diaspora, thought about this amazing idea i know it's not coming to fruition as it ought to be however he has tried to open you know remember akon has another project called i think powering africa or something anyways akon has a project right where is um you know putting solar providing power to regions in africa that doesn't have power that is something that he is doing nobody is paying this guy to do all these things yet you see africans who will come videos upon videos that akon is a scam the only black person we have right who has come into africa to invest at this level at this capacity you have people drawing him down so what am i trying to say akon has tried let's stop pulling him down let's stop pulling him down ah this guy has built he has a vision all we have to do as africans is to figure out what are the ways we can support lastly we are all saying the Akon City is a scam, is a scam. Big question. The people who invested are probably white people, right? And we are, why have those white people not jailed Akon right now if it's a scam? Why are we not seeing suits, law cases here, left, right, and center if it's a scam? But no, you find Nigerians, uh, I mean Africans, being the first to pull down their own people. So I'm tired. I will not pull down Akon City. Looking at both Eco Atlantic and Econ City, it raises a question. Are the government failing to create a favorable environment for these projects to thrive, leading to these delays? Or have these projects failed entirely and will never come to completion? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until I see you on the next one, peace.